The Federal Commission on School Safety convened by President Trump after the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School has finished its report. The 177-page report details 93 best practices and policy recommendations for improving school safety. The findings were presented to the president today at the White House. Those in attendance included some of the parents whose children were killed in Parkland, Andrew Pollack, Max Schachter, and Ryan Petty. The commission says the report is a holistic approach that ranges from supporting the social and emotional well-being of students to enhancing physical building security. This report uh, recommended the creation of a, a clearinghouse, a repository to produce national school safety best practices. This has never been done before, and I think this, this uh, specific recommendation uh, is going to make schools across the country safer and children, so thank you very much. And this is the most comprehensive uh, report done after a school shooting ever by administration that's going to affect the quality of life for all students and teachers throughout this country. Because I know it affected me personally what happened in Parkland, and these families know what happened in Parkland. I applaud the comprehensive nature, but also the depth <coughs> that goes into each of the recommendations and the thoughtfulness in putting this together. Um, there's so much to like here. My hope is that Rather than fighting over the things we, we don't like or we, we think are missing, that as a nation we'll come together and focus on the things we do agree on because 99% of this I think we can agree on and we can move forward. And if we'll just agree on it, I think we can, we can take steps towards solving this. So here are some key highlights of the report. It urges partnerships between schools, districts, states, and law enforcement for the training and arming of school personnel. It does not specifically single out teachers for that. The Trump administration will rescind an Obama-era policy that sought to make sure minority students were not unfairly disciplined. It recommends active shooter training, something not all schools do. The report also addresses the importance of access to mental health programs at schools and a threat assessment program where students and faculties can identify security concerns. Now, we asked our school districts for comment. Miami-Dade schools told us they have not read it yet. Broward schools have not responded. If you'd like to read it, we have it posted at CBSMiami.com.